so I guess maybe we, do you want to start with what you what you just not you didn't just finish it up, but what's out currently in theaters? <laughs> <laughs> sure. Um, I am very proud because I will admit this is the first time that I've worked on something that is, uh, you know, beating the box office, the box office, Amazing. ruling the box office as we mm. speak. Mean Girls. Yeah. Which is a kind of iconic uh, movie. And being that it's the musical, huh, it's the it's the movie of the musical. So they okay. kind of married, they didn't use yeah. all of the songs, but they basically married the original movie okay. and the musical and made it and with a new cast. And so, I'm here. <laughs> did, did you, who, you worked, was that in Jersey where you, was that the location you were at? Yeah. So okay. yeah, we were primarily at a school in New Jersey. I think we spent only, or I did my, my job on on that was there were a lot of uh they call them day players but there's a, there are a lot of the people the cast around uh the sort of main actors mm -hmm. so there were dancers there were these choir girls there were band freaks they called them and so they these people were always around them mm -hmm. and either in the dance numbers and they would even break out into little dance things here and there but they were always there and uh, I worked on them. Mm. So I didn't do the primary cast. I mm -hmm. did all of these peripheral characters mm -hmm. that were always there. And it was, a, it was so much fun because we really, you know, we had a lot of people to get done. And it was supposed to be you know, very creative looks mm -hmm. um, in one particular scene, musical number. And then a Halloween. And there was a bunch of stuff. And uh, so that's, I was, you know, pretty much in charge of that, this giant group yeah. of, of people that were seen over and over again throughout. You'll see, you see them throughout. And okay. uh, so it was a lot of fun. But so it was in New Jersey is where we filmed. And it was right before our big strike, the yes. writer's strike and the uh, SAG strike. So I was very fortunate because at that point, people had already, production companies had already started shutting down because mm -hmm. they knew the strike was happening. Yeah. So it was very, very fortunate to, to yeah. actually be on a job, but it turned out it was a very big job and it was, again, a blast. I mean, I had yeah. a good team, same team for the most part from Pretty, yeah, same team from Pretty Little Liars. Pretty Little Liars. Uh, just, the TV show. Yeah, yeah. To tell people that you worked on that as a core makeup artist. Um, the second the HBO. Yeah. The HBO Max series. Max, not HBO. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um so well, that's how many confusing now, but how many like max people H right how many people per day were you putting were you doing their makeup for well we had a team so yeah I, but like you personally uh, and my me personally well i mean when we had a big day with everybody um there would be like 40 of these pe people that had to come through men and women and right um and other, you know, because there were mm -hmm. there were people who identified as them. They it mm -hmm. was a very interesting mix, mm -hmm. very fun to work mm -hmm. and get to know this younger generation and that. So I was knee yeah. deep in it, and really, it was great to. And they were very helpful with mm -hmm. identifying their genders. Mm -hmm. and, but the beauty was that there was no box. We were outside the box, so so men got makeup. Yeah, um, you know women got makeup some didn't want any makeup uh and so it was very very interesting to work cool. with all these different you know personalities and these you know the the gen zers mm -hmm. mm -hmm. and uh but we did get yeah everybody got you know especially for the specific this very colorful um musical number everybody got like bright colors everywhere <laughs> the wardrobe the everything so cool. we did you know disconnected liner and we didn't have time so on a big day we would have at most 15 minutes with a person well and um we weren't allowed to have visible tattoos so some of that was covering tattoos which a lot of people had yeah so there was that also wow um but we would so when the first day of doing the sequence of this in one particular uh, 
dance number of routine where it was super colorful. Um, the first day of it, you know, we had about six support makeup artists with us. I think maybe, so there's like seven of us in total. Mm -hmm. We have extras that people were getting ready and making sure they look good. And then we had all of these talent that were doing these musical numbers and really in the camera around the Mm -hmm. actors and, Mm -hmm. uh, and coming up with these crazy, you know, uh, looks that were, uh, so you didn't have any time. So you had to be really, really quick and just be on it. And some of the best work comes out of when you don't have a chance to think. And yeah. so that was really fun. And to cool. have, you know, a, a lot of times you end up on a show where you, you're just doing the same makeup natural, yeah. which is wonderful. I'm good at it and I love it. Yeah. But to be able to, to really kind of get outside and not have time to like critique or think, right. Any, you don't just have no time. And when I saw the movie, which I did get to see it in the big screen, mm-hmm. you could really see that work paid off cool. and how good and how much we could see all those pops Aww. of color. And that's awesome. Know, fun. So that was fun. Maybe we nominated. <laughs> right? Don't they have that kind yes. of Yes. <laughs> Never know. They do. Oh. Um yeah. Usually I think it ends up being well, ah, no, it's like it's period and period makeup and, and special effects always get that. But right. I, maybe. Never know. Um I know, yeah, the looks were are very important in this in this uh, movie. It's really interesting in Mean Girls how they incorporated the update is using social media. Mm. So a lot of times you're seeing it on like a TikTok screen. Okay. Okay. So, and so there was an interesting thing that we created uh, on this that we had to reproduce. And it was sort of a similar thing as, as in the first movie, which I can't remember what it was, but Regina, something happens to her and then everybody recreates it when they're trying to mess her up. And in this Uh. case, um, she gets her, her, her mascara, she gets sprayed and her mascara runs. Spoiler okay. alert. Yeah. But you see it in the ad. Um, mm-hmm. and, and yes. so everybody starts to follow doing the wet look is how they referred to it, where they had. <laughs> That's so funny. I had to do that for days oh, on everybody. On everybody. So it's funny, my uh, my coworker. Well, not on all the dancers and all mm-hmm. the peripheral. I mean, we ended. It was only supposed to be a handful of people, but they liked it so much. And then they ended up making a filter out of it. On <laughs> the, they made a filter for, and I'm sure they're gonna have. They'll probably have oh, a real one for. I'm sure. For, but for this yeah. filter was created for the for the movie. Wow. And uh, but we did. So we had this sort of quick way to make mascara run. Now I had worked on an opera where I had to do a similar thing. Mm-hmm. So I had already had experience, experience. with mm-hmm. running mascara, but yeah. this had to be a little bit more comical. Uh, I like to do it real more, more of a natural, but this had to be really present and comical. Right. So we got it down to, but it was hilarious how many times oh my gosh. And everybody enjoyed getting it. <laughs> but yeah, so we had to do this, like, you know, make these, that's great. These, these, yeah. So that yeah. was, yeah, that was fun. Did you go so- to the premiere? Like the official premiere or? I didn't. We had a cast and crew screening. Oh, the okay. uh, premiere, uh, generally, some are, are, are uh, invited, but mm. it wasn't. No, we weren't. But we yeah. did have a cast and crew in the city, cool. which was really nice. And all the dancers were there oh, nice. uh, in the theater with us. And so to hear that, to see them excited yeah. to see themselves. Because a lot of them hadn't been in movies uh-huh. before. Yeah. So it was their first time seeing themselves on screen. and That's so cool. And uh, and seeing it with my, my peeps, you know, my yeah. makeup department. We all saw it together. Yeah. We all sat together. Aww. And so it was just, we were all very proud of it. I think, yeah. you know, I think it's gotten decent reviews for what it, you know, for being a remake. And right. which, you know, it doesn't always and a musical yeah. um it's gotten decent reviews and yeah That's it was cool. fun i will definitely see it and yeah. i want to see it on the big screen too so i can yeah. see the makeup <laughs> yeah i think it's back. worth seeing on the big screen it's fun <laughs> and it really is if you liked the first one there's so it, it, it there's a verbatim only things yeah. that probably tina couldn't get away with now right there, were, there are certain things that didn't age well right that, you know so yeah. uh but really uh and i think that the uh Janice and Damien characters are hilarious. They okay. really, the, these okay. two that mm-hmm. they're, they're, they're quite, quite funny. 
So, uh, no, it's, and Regina George herself is, she's a, uh, Renee Rapp is, yes. uh, is a force to be reckoned with. So she, she does yeah. a very good job. I love her from, uh, Sex Lives of College Girls and just every, like, she, I know the music she's been doing and stuff. So, yeah, I really, I love her. Um, so, and she was in the musical, I believe, wasn't she? Yeah. 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 Yep. She plays Regina and it, not the, for the, not, I don't know which run, but later on, right. not yeah. like the, you know, she, she wasn't did. the first yeah. Regina, but she was later right. on and, and, yeah. uh, and her voice, she's got an insane voice. Mm -hmm. So she really, yeah. and she knows how to, yeah, she knows how to bring that, that attitude. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So that's awesome. Yeah. Um, so that's kind of fun. Yeah. That's been yeah. A, a fun experience as it just came out this weekend. So seeing all the yeah. articles about it and just so and cool. So cool. Um, yeah. 